The 2026 KDX-3 Batch II Aegis destroyer represents a significant leap forward in South Korea's naval capabilities. As the latest iteration of the Sejong the Great class destroyers, this warship is a cornerstone in the Republic of Korea Navy's ROKN efforts to transition from a coastal defense force to a full-fledged Blue Water Navy. Building upon the already formidable design of the original Batch I KDX-3 destroyers, the Batch II introduces a range of enhancements in stealth, combat systems, automation, and survivability that align it with the world's most advanced naval platforms. Visually, the design of the KDX-3 Batch II has been streamlined for improved radar cross-section reduction. The superstructure has cleaner lines, with more angled surfaces and reduced clutter, minimizing the ship's detectability by enemy radar. The bridge and mast have been redesigned to integrate more seamlessly with the hull, with fewer exposed antennas and sensor domes, lending the destroyer a modern, almost futuristic silhouette. The stealth improvements are subtle but crucial, especially in modern naval warfare, where being seen first can often mean being targeted first. The hull retains the same 166-meter length and 21-meter beam as its predecessor, ensuring ample space for equipment, weapons, and crew accommodations without compromising speed or maneuverability. Performance-wise, the Batch II maintains the proven propulsion system of a combined gas and gas COGAG configuration, featuring four LM2500 gas turbines. This setup allows the ship to reach a top speed of around 30 knots, with a cruising range of over 5,500 nautical miles. These specifications ensure that the destroyer is not only fast enough for escort missions and rapid deployment but also capable of long-endurance operations across the Pacific or Indian Oceans. While the core propulsion remains similar to the Batch I, the integration of improved automated control systems reduces crew workload and increases efficiency. At the heart of the KDX-3 Batch II's power is the Aegis Combat System Baseline 9, a significant upgrade from the earlier Baseline 7.1 used in the Batch I ships. This advanced system dramatically enhances the destroyer's multi-domain combat capability. It can simultaneously track and engage hundreds of air, surface, and subsurface threats, providing 360-degree defense in contested environments. The inclusion of Cooperative Engagement Capability CEC, allows the ship to share targeting data with allied ships and aircraft in real time, forming an integrated defense web. This is especially important in modern naval engagements where missiles can come from any direction and at supersonic speeds. In terms of weaponry, the Batch II is heavily armed with an upgraded Vertical Launch System VLS. It features a total of 128 VLS cells, 64 forward and 64 aft, capable of launching a wide variety of missiles. These include the SM-2 and SM-6 for long-range air defense, the locally developed K-Song for close-in-air threats, land attack cruise missiles such as the HYUNM-003C, and the new ballistic missile defense-capable SM-3 interceptors. This diversified missile loadout makes the Batch II not only a formidable area defense ship but also a key player in regional missile defense against threats like North Korea's growing ballistic missile arsenal. For anti-submarine warfare ASW, the ship is equipped with advanced sonar systems, including a bow-mounted sonar and a towed array sonar system, allowing for deep-water submarine detection. Paired with torpedo launchers and helicopter support, typically the AW-159 or MH-60R Seahawk, the destroyer can conduct comprehensive ASW operations. The helicopter hangar and flight deck have been redesigned for better maintenance access and quicker deployment supporting both ASW and search and rescue missions. Close-in defense is handled by a combination of systems. The destroyer uses the Korean Close-in Weapon System CIWS, an advanced rotary cannon designed to intercept incoming missiles and small surface threats at close range. This is complemented by a multi-layered electronic warfare suite that includes radar jammers, decoys, and infrared countermeasures. The Batch II's combat survivability is further enhanced by improved internal compartmentalization and automated damage control systems, designed to contain flooding and fires more effectively than previous models. The integration of indigenous South Korean systems alongside American technologies is another key feature of the Batch II. This hybrid approach gives South Korea both interoperability with U.S. and allied forces and greater self-reliance in maintenance and upgrades. It also allows for faster adaptation of new weapon systems developed domestically. Moreover, 
cybersecurity and electronic warfare capabilities have been given more attention in this iteration, with hardened networks and artificial intelligence assisted threat analysis to guard against modern electronic and cyber threats. In terms of crew and operations, automation has significantly reduced the number of personnel required to operate the ship compared to the batch I. Despite this, the destroyer still houses a crew of around 300, with improved living quarters and facilities. The command and control center is outfitted with next-generation interfaces, touchscreens, voice-assisted AI, and ergonomic layouts that improve situational awareness and decision-making speed. The emphasis on crew comfort and operational efficiency ensures that the ship can function at high performance over extended periods without degrading readiness. From a strategic perspective, the KDX-3 Batch 2 serves multiple roles, fleet air defense, command and control flagship, missile defense platform, and multi-threat combatant. Its presence in regional waters will serve as both a deterrent and a reassurance to allies. With North Korea continuing to test missile capabilities and China expanding its naval footprint, the Batch 2 gives South Korea a powerful tool for safeguarding its interests and projecting stability in the Indo-Pacific. In essence, the 2026 KDX-3 Batch 2 Aegis destroyer represents a blend of raw power, advanced technology, and strategic foresight. While it builds upon a proven platform, every major system has been re-evaluated, upgraded, or redesigned to meet the evolving demands of modern naval warfare. For both military analysts and defense enthusiasts, it stands as a clear signal of South Korea's growing role as a maritime power, capable not only of defending its shores but also of contributing meaningfully to global security operations.